You can see Peter will be and his people are here. This tells you that Nigeria will remain united. God do not bab you. And these are God's Nigerians talking. Okay, before we go into the news proper, I still want us to understand that Peter will be and uh, Tinubu, they are not enemies. Oh. Uh -huh. They are not enemies. In politics, when you are campaigning and all that, you can say anything against your opponents or whatsoever. But that does not mean that if you, you were invited for any occasion for you to grace, if you are opportune to go or if you are free to go, that does not mean that you cannot go. Why I'm saying this is because of some comments I'm saying here. Some people are saying Peter B is a, is, is full this and this in the mumu. Why in go? Are they fighting? They are not fighting, no. Uh -huh. They are not fighting. Okay, they are not fighting. So that is one thing we should understand. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you once again. The Senate President. Senator Godwin Okbabio has claimed that the presence of the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, at the wedding, at the wedding ceremony of the son of the Deputy Senate President, Senator Jubri, indicates that Nigeria will remain as one indivisible entity. According to Daily Post reports, Senator Godwin Okbabio made this disclosure when he was speaking after the wedding event in Kanu State on Friday, noting that the presence of Peter Obi and many high-profile personalities at the wedding ceremony attests to the fact that the Deputy Senate President, Senator Jubri, is a peaceful man and a man of the people. Senator Babio said, you can see that even Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi and his people are here. This tells you that Nigeria will remain united as one entity. The wedding ceremony was reportedly held at the Isaiah Kar Rabiu Jamot Mus Mosque, Gora Dausi Canon State. It was reported earlier today that the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, his vice president, and sorry, vice president, Kasim Shetima, and the president of the Senate, Godin Okbabio, were among dignitaries who stormed Kano State for the wedding ceremony of the son of the deputy president of Senate, Senator Jubri. Many people were surprised to see Peter Obi in the midst of APC members. But Peter Obi's action is an indication that politics is not a war, exactly. So, Okbabio is now seeing presidential election inclusive. He's addressing Peter Obi as Labour Party presidential candidate. Hmm. My president Obi is coming. For your informa information, Obi has nothing against Tinubu as a person or other politicians. He is only against their corrupt structures and process that brought them to power. Obi is a rare gem, a nightmare to corrupt politicians, leaders, and people. Yes, so. We are one already. It's only the properties that makes us different. Mumu Obi. They want to use the, this man to do elimination by substitution and make standard is Moron Ibo obedient supporters fools. I think this is really too much. Okay? I won't take this message again. See, uh, there is one thing we are doing currently in Nigeria, and which is very bad. And if we continue like this, it's going to swallow us up. If you don't like my ideology, if, if you don't like what I do, or if you don't like what I say, that does not mean that you should be insulting me. It's what I like. It's what I do. If you don't like it, pass. Waka pass. You understand? These insulting people, insulting people and all that is really very bad. You want to talk about someone you're insulting. 
the person. You saw you insult the president. You insult the vice president. You insult Peter Obi. You insult Atiku and all that. This is really very bad. And so many other people. If you don't like what they are doing, you can swear you can talk politely without insulting people. It's very bad. Some people will tell you, and hey, why did you post this kind of news? You are stupid. You have why are we like this? Why are we like this? We know we are frustrated, but we know Nigerian situation can be frustrating. Let me put it like that. But you, you will be frustrated if you want to be frustrated. Yes. If you want what is happening right now in the country to eat you up, it will eat you up. Not only you get the matter, you get what we are just praying that one day we have a leader that will bring, out, bring us out from this mess. If you don't like me, that does not mean that you, I am your enemy. Don't insult people. Stop insulting people. If you see comments here, I am jumping comments. Some people are saying, obedient people, obituary people, obi, Peter will be Momo, Peter will be foolish, this and that. Are they enemies? Because he's in Labour Party, then he should not relate with people again. Okay, because you are in APC, you should not relate with APC, uh, PDP members or Labour Party members. You that is talking, is that how life is? Is that how you are making enemies around? If you are P2B supporters, uh, P2B supporter in your community, so APC members in your community or PDP members in your community, you don't talk with them again. I beg, make we take a easy. I don't just want to take comments again because the insult is just too much here. This will not solve the current problem in Nigeria. If you don't like Peter Obi, it's, it's, it's a, no problem. If you don't like Tunubu, no problem. If you are talking about what they are doing, let's concentrate on what these people are doing. Peter Obi is against the corrupt practices of these people. Not that they are enemies. So, if B2B wants to do any uh, part, wants to celebrate anything, he can as well invite them. You'll be surprised. One day, Tunubu we, you know, we come to his party. It doesn't matter. It does not mean that two of them are, are in the same page. It does not really mean. You just have to stop this. <sighs> so, guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please.